Hi, welcome to Calibre. Today I'm going to talk about uh, the snare comparison tool that I blogged about. Here I have a layer for 2031, um, neighborhoods of Brisbane, Queensland, Australia. Um, first thing you need in a Calibre to do a scenario comparison tool different than commercial packages where you just give the two scenarios, you have to join the two scenarios before you start. Uh, in our case here, and to do uh, a join is really quick. If you have the other tables loaded, you can go properties of the layer and go to join. It's pretty easy and pretty fast. Uh, in our case here, I already have all the fields. Um, the fields I'm going to use in this case, I'm going to compare AM and, and PM of the same year. Uh, just for for the purpose of this example is, is enough. And I have there AM, AB, PM, AB, AM, BA, PM, BA. So, okay. Let's go with this example, look for Equilibri, JS Tools, Scenario Comparison. This is the layer I want to compare, this 2031 flows. I'm going to compare AM car AM peak uh, loads with car PM loads. You see as I change the PM loads here, the AB, BA changes automatically. I'm going to say create comparison. This is a pretty old laptop. So it's gonna take a little long, and it takes a little long because it's trying to, it's going through the entire layer and dimensioning what is the what is the maximum difference I'm gonna have. So that maximum difference can have this size of 10. Um, the laptop I'm I'm, re I'm recording this video on it's a seven eight year old laptop, so it takes a little long. But there you go. Uh, green for when the um, for when the alternative is bigger, red when the alternative is smaller, and then it goes uh, A, B, uh, uh, peak direction and counter peak direction. So, okay, that it's pretty standard and looks uh, arguably, arguably like uh, any commercial package would. Uh, there's something a little different though. Uh, if you read the blog, you can. Uh, you would know uh, if you didn't read. I'm going to leave the link uh, pay, uh, here below this video. Let's start again and go equilibrate GIS tools and scenario comparison. I'm going to do the same setting as before, but I'm going to do this composite. And what composite is is instead of showing just the differences, I'm going to show three different bands. Uh, a band that is the minimum of the two scenarios, so it's that the flow that is common to both scenarios, that is there in both cases. Uh, the excess of the first or the excess of the second. So the green and red, the differences are going to be only for that the difference. And that allows you to know uh, not only the total size of the difference, but also the proportionally uh, how uh, proportionally how big these differences are uh, comparing to the to the total flows. Let's go there, create comparison and make slightly bigger, and there you go. You see here on this uh, uh, freeway going um, northeast southwest uh, that the peak flows are actually um, in the peak the 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 flow is somewhat close to a little under double than the flows are uh, in the counter peak. So it is very interesting to see that uh, what what the peak represents. The peak represents, in this case of this street, maybe less than uh, doubling the flow. And in some other streets, uh, other other streets and, and and arterials here, you see that the difference is um, really not meaningful when compared to the, to the main or to the, to the regular flow or the flow when it's a counter peak or in some cases it might be that it's a street that is uh, very well balanced in both directions in both peaks uh, but there you go this is the tool as implemented uh, if you go here in the properties you're gonna see I have two sets I have green uh, red, green, and 
for both directions and black for both directions. Um, you can copy the formulas and use for other uh, purposes if you like. Uh, but there's what I have for today. Uh, please comment, uh, report bugs, use Equilibre, and join development and let's keep the conversation going. Thank you.